lot of videos planned out and I'm really excited about that because, I mean, why wouldn't you be excited? Today I'm going to be talking about making a YouTube channel and like making videos and deciding whether or not you want to be on YouTube. And the reason behind me wanting to do this is because lately a lot of my friends from school Lately, a lot of my friends from school have been finding my YouTube channel, which is awesome. Um, I think that's really cool um, that my friends at school watch is kind of creepy, kind of creepy, um, but pretty cool, pretty cool. And it's funny because like people don't even like really know me, and then they watch my videos, so it's like, ooh, that's so cool. So if you're my friend from school, or if you see me at school and you know me, or even if you don't know me, but you just see me at school, or maybe you don't even see me at school, maybe you don't even live in the same country as me, um, but if you do live in the same country as me and go to the same school as me, please tell me that you watch my videos. Preferably not like yelling across a big large room, but you can come up to me and like tell me because that'd be pretty cool. Um, I actually have had three people now in the past week, so that's pretty cool. I just want to say hi to everyone. Hi! But if you're someone who's planning on making a YouTube channel or wants to make a YouTube channel or is like contemplating, hey, should I make a YouTube channel or should I not? Well, here you go. I'm going to help you answer that question right now. Because that's my job. Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend, weekend. I've been wanting to do like a question and answer video and I'll be building up questions from videos. I'll probably end up doing one in February. So if you have any questions for me about anything, you can let me know down below. If you have any questions about being on YouTube and anything like that, also ask me that and I can answer that in my question and answer video. Making a YouTube channel is not all like easy peasy, shampoo squeezy. It's actually a lot of responsibility and I think a lot of people think that it's like no big, like you could do whatever you want, you can say whatever you want on YouTube and you can just act however you want on YouTube. The thing about YouTube is that if you may start making YouTube videos, you have an audience no matter how small or how big. You start to have an audience, people watch your videos, and what you can, what you say, what you do can offend people. Your first video, like, 99% of the time, is going to be your worst video ever. My first video on YouTube was two and a half years ago now, maybe? A little bit more than that? I don't know. Um, and I go back and watch it, and it's not, it's not fun to watch. I just, I'm like cringing at the sound of my own voice. I'm like, ugh, what? So, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't myself at the beginning of YouTube because I just didn't know how to be myself, I guess. It's really embarrassing, but I used to, like, have such a huge crush on Kevin Jonas, and I know, I know, a lot of people say he's the ugliest, but me and Kevin, kindred spirits. Another thing you have to keep in mind if you're going to start making YouTube videos is that people will find out about them, and that is something that I did struggle with at the beginning. Um, when someone found my YouTube videos um, a couple years ago. Someone found my YouTube videos and asked me about them and I was so embarrassed. I was like, um, I don't make YouTube videos. What are you talking about? Uh, that wasn't me. That's my twin sister. I would say anything to get out of it. I did not want people watching me on YouTube because I make YouTube videos for people, like girls, to watch and actually find them helpful and interesting and fun and entertaining. I don't make YouTube videos for like my friends to watch me because they see me at school. Like why would I want to, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, so I like, I made them for a reason and then when people started finding out at my school I was like, that's not okay. But now I really don't care because I like making YouTube videos. It's so much fun. Once you get started, like, I don't think I could stop now. Like I'm just, no, no, no. You can't hold me back. I love making YouTube videos and I love the fact that my subscribers that I have are so nice to me and I get messages a couple times a week of uh, people being just so nice and that's like the best part about making YouTube videos. That one message I get from someone makes my whole week like that much better. Another thing you have to be aware of is that there are a lot of people on YouTube who leave negative comments and say negative things and want to make you feel stupid and dumb and ugly on YouTube and they don't make videos themselves, they never do. And if they do, that's just weird because no one's going to watch your videos if you're mean. They leave me comments on other people's videos and you guys have all seen them. If you've watched any YouTube videos, you've seen the negative comments um, in their videos and those people, they call haters. I don't think that that's a fair term for them because the word hate, it's such a strong word. I don't think they're haters, I just think they're like negative, insecure people and that's really sad. But if you do get hater comments, 
all you have to do is just ignore it because it's not a big deal and those people do not even know you so it doesn't matter. I've only had like a couple negative things ever on this channel which I'm so thankful for and um, the two times I had it I was just like I, I, th this doesn't even describe me like I don't even know what this is. Um, like if you get something negative and you read it and it just doesn't sound like you, you're like, okay, that's not me, that's not who I am, I know that's not who I am, so you can just ignore it. But sometimes I read like the comments on someone's video and it's like, well, I like lighter lipstick colors on you or something. And then the YouTuber gets like really f offended and is like, well, I didn't ask for your opinion. Like, um, I think that if you're going to start making YouTube videos, you have to respect your subscribers in order to get respect back. Most people wouldn't just make YouTube videos just for themselves to watch or just, just because. Um, I made YouTube videos for like 10 people for uh, the longest time and I'm just fine with it. I love making them just for my own entertainment. Um, that's just because I'm kind of weird. I make myself laugh more than anyone else I've ever met. Ah, You really need to be yourself because it's very obvious when girls are just trying to be like everyone else and it's annoying. I did it myself so I know. If you want to become popular on YouTube you feel like you have to be that certain type of girl and have a really high pitched voice and be really enthusiastic about everything. Just be yourself and try to like put that in no matter what you're talking about. Like I do talk about makeup but I'm not wearing tons of makeup every day to school. We've all seen sponsored videos um, like Jewel Mint, Style Mint, those brands. Most of the girls that make those videos are sponsored. Those are sponsored videos. Those videos Pretty much it's when either the company has sent the person a certain amount of money to spend on their website or a certain product to try, test out, and then review. But becoming partner is, if you guys don't know, pretty much when you start, you make videos for YouTube as almost like a job, so you get paid to make videos. I don't know like if I'll ever become YouTube partner or if I ever want to become YouTube partner, but for right now I'm kind of like happy where I am with like my 800 subscribers that I have and I like... Each one of you guys are my friends, and that's the coolest part about it. Like, I don't want to do it for the wrong reasons. I don't want to start making videos just because I'm like, oh crap, I have to make videos so I can get money this week. Like, no, I want to do it because I actually really like making videos. Okay, so I think that's pretty much all I have to say about, like, being on YouTube, making YouTube videos, and deciding whether you want to make YouTube videos. But I really want you guys to ask me questions if you have them down below. So if you're contemplating making YouTube videos and you have questions or concerns or anything like that, you can let me know, know down below. A faster way of me to answer your questions is either to message me on YouTube or Twitter. Um, I also have Tumblr. Go check out my blog as well if you if you want to. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful because that's kind of the point of it. And have a great Friday. Be safe. Don't do drugs. And I will see you all later. Bye.